Hey guys, so I've been wondering, let's say you're given the gift of being able to manipulate any object around you. That would be sweet, right? How useful would that be? Right, let's say you have the ability to, tele to telepathically move metals. Then great! But, what now? How do you even control this ability with your mind? Um, do you imagine that metal moving your head so that whatever you see in your head comes to reality? I can see a few problems with this ease of thinking or whatever. What if you thought of a metal in planet Mercury and you suddenly think of that metal going to you? Would it be a chunk of that planet or the entire thing? I can see I'm specifying things so it's going to be hard to grasp the concept. Okay, let's say you cannot create things with your mind. So you decided to move one kilogram of steel telepathically towards you. It works because you can see the object. But let's say you instead have the ability to telepathically manipulate fire. Okay, so in this scenario, you can create matter. I'm not going to specify how because physics and whatnot, right? So you're standing there facing a tree. Do you think really hard about fire existing in front of you? How would you direct it to your target? I might have some guesses that could be the solutions. Okay, number one. You think of the atoms at a special, at a spatial dimension of your choice. Then with those atoms, you shake them violently so that they produce heat and react with the oxygen at that space and produce fire. Now for the fuel, I don't know how you think about it since you can only manipulate fire so let's keep it simple. Okay, now that you have fire, to direct it, you move those heated atoms or molecules or whatever towards the target. And there you go, the target is in flames because of your heated atoms. Option number two. Okay, similar thing with the first option, but using your hands as the direction on where you want your hated atoms to go. Now that I think of it, you could use your body as an extended part of your mental thinking. Maybe that is why Magneto elegantly uses his powers. He moves his hands as he thinks about manipulating metal around him. Okay, one thing I feel to mention is creating matter. So let's give an example. Ice. Okay, so one of my inspiration in making this video in the first place is because I made a character who can manipulate ice to the atomic level. One of his special abilities is that he rarely uses is the ability to freeze the very fabric of an atom. That it essentially stops time for that thing. Okay, I'm getting too ahead of myself, so what did I bring eyes up? Well, this character I named Cryo Verglas uses his abilities in this way. He thinks about the air molecules around him and kinda just forcibly smooshes them into a shape that he desires. And it vibrates less, so it's cold. That includes the air around him. Okay. I don't think this violates the laws of conversation, conservation of mass. Because if you think about it, these beings only move atoms around them to make different types of matter to suit their specified telekinetic abilities or whatever, right? Now look, I have not explained every detail in this video, so if there's something I failed to mention, tell me in the comments below, and I would happily answer them to the rest to the best of my abilities. Now this isn't including the abilities that affect the three-dimensional space like manipulating time, space itself, gravity, etc. These are just the basic powers you hear about every day in fantasy or whatever. I just thought I had to make this video about this because I found it interesting to study the psychology and how, if your brain scan, you move objects around you with a mere thought. So the only thing I see, for now, violating the laws of physics is the mental ability to move atoms or whatever makes up atoms.